that song that, you know, what are we going to do when, when, we, when we meet him? You know, are we going to cry? Are we going to worship? I, I don't know what, what's going to happen when that day comes. I, I don't know. But he just stood out. He just, he was just so, uh, it just, he made it, he made this all possible, but he just, he just stood out all this. Everywhere you go and everywhere I was in, in, in God's presence, he was there. And it was like he made this possible. It was him. It was him. It was him. It's what he did. It's all about him. And although there was more that went on and, and more that, 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 that has faded from my memory a little bit, it was time to leave. And when it was time for me to go back, half of me wanted to stay. And the other half knew that I needed to go back. This was nothing like when I first, you know, that, that part that haunts me still. Right. It was nothing like that. Half of me said, oh, there's no way I'm leaving this place. And the other half was pulling me back because I knew that I had to go back. Mm-hmm. And here's the part that uh, that gets me. The Lord didn't want me to leave. He wanted me to stay. He said, uh, you know, I've really enjoyed the time we've had together. You know, I, I'm nothing special. You know, I'm no different than anybody else. But I am special, you know, because God loves me. And, and you're special. And anybody that's hearing this is special because God loves you. And I, I didn't want to go, but... I knew I had to go back. And it was that drawing that it was like, you know, don't worry, I'm going to be with you. You know, I I won't forsake you. I knew that. Mm -hmm. You know, I was hearing all these things like that. You know, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. And as I began to leave, the angel that was originally with me, I'm assuming it was the same one. I never really saw him. I knew it was an angel. He took my right hand again, but as we're leaving, we didn't we didn't turn around and walk away. We as we were leaving, we were we were walking backwards. Hmm. As we were leaving, and as I was going backwards, I couldn't take my eyes off of him. Off of this angel? Or off no, of it Jesus? wasn't I never saw the about? angel, and now I finally I actually saw before I couldn't see it. You know, remember, remember in the New Testament when, when God spoke and there were people there and they thought it thundered? You know, they had no idea what was right in front of them. Mm-hmm. And that's what it was like with me and at the start of the story. God was there, but I didn't know. All I knew is that there was something going on and I didn't want to be there. Right. Well, now as I'm leaving, I'm looking and I could see where I was at. What I saw was, was this this very it was a large cloud and as i'm going as i'm as i'm leaving like i say i'm walking backwards the angels were walking backwards together right i saw this large cloud and it was darker on the outside and as it got to the center it got brighter and brighter and uh and he said to me he says i'm the alpha and i'm the omega he says i'm the beginning And I'm the end. And here's where I can't remember. He says, there was nobody before. And I'm pretty sure he says, there was nobody before us. I didn't think he said me. He says that there there was nobody before us, and there will be nobody after us. And I believe that's the way he said it. I don't think he said me. I think he said us. Like I say, this is kind of a, Mm -hmm. this is kind of uh, where it gets a little shady, but I believe that's what he said. And as I got farther away, I started hearing this, this language that I didn't hear before. It, and, you know, I, I said and it, was, it was a language, but I, I, didn't know, I don't know what was being said. And the language seemed to be saying the same thing over and over again, you know, and... That's the last thing that I heard. I heard this 
this language, and as I as it faded away, I could hear it. Just repeating over. Just, over. just it, it was continuous. You know, I don't want uh, repetitive. Is not is not the way that I want to bring this across to you. It was just continuous, uh, and I don't know. I don't know what was being said. That's the last thing I saw, and as as I faded, the, the cloud you know would get a little smaller, mm-hmm. and uh, that's the last thing I remember. It's been over 28 years now since this has happened, and and I'm being as honest as I can with you. There's not a day that goes by that I don't think about this. This is not. I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was a dream. It was a very, <laughs> like we were talking, you know, a very, very intense dream, or <laughs> it might have been a vision, uh, but it has literally been seared into my spirit. I mean, it just, it's so fresh, even today. And I will say this, and, and, and as a closing thought, that I can almost hear that language i've been in church services when worship has just been beautiful i can almost hear that 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 language you know and i you know you can make from what you hear that you know it could have been people praising you know i i don't know i i i don't know what it was i only i could tell you uh that's what what i heard but it has never left me uh i i I really could go on here, but I wanted to put this in a in an outline that you know that right. somewhere you can help. Um, well, uh, so after this, I mean, that had to have a huge impact oh, on your life. It did. Oh. I, you know, I it to get back to to the hospital thing. You know, I, they cut on me on a Monday, and it was Friday. Uh, I don't know. It was noonish. And I can't remember if my wife, Joan, was there or not. And uh, the doctor came in, and he was talking to me, and and uh, they did some stuff to me. And then I realized what a mess I was. I had I had all these tubes in me and everything. And, I, you know, obviously I wasn't feeling well. And that night I had a rough night. And, uh, but I would, you know, it wasn't when there were people there no, no, I'll take that back. Even when people were there, I was thinking about it. But I would find myself, you know, there would be nobody there at the hospital. And all of a sudden, I would be laying in bed. And all of a sudden, I would have realized that I just got done thinking about this for three and a half hours. And I wasn't sleeping. And I was dwelling on all the things that I saw and experienced. And I, And it was not like I was rehashing them. I was just soaking them all up. And it's like, wow. I just thought about this for three hours. Hmm. You know, time just, I couldn't, and I didn't doze off. I just, I remember distinctly, and I'm like, and, and uh, I, I, you know, I, I felt kind of bad. It was the other day I, I called my sister Gail up, and uh, I was telling her that, you know, we're finally going to do this, and I, I felt kind of bad because I never knew anything about this, and I said, well, you know, to be honest, I've never really shared it in detail with only a very small amount of people. And I said, it, when we, around the holidays, you know, we, we'd, we'll sit around the table and I'll, and it's just, it just, it's just in there. And, I, and I'll start sharing a little bit about it, but I couldn't do it any justice. I couldn't just jump in at a certain spot right. because I know it would go over people's heads until I would present it in a, in a you know, like a package right, like right. this. But it, it, yes, it, of course, it's been a source of strength, but I, I've grown by it. But it, it's also, you know, I, I keep going back to that place where he, that angel brought me to and he left me. It haunts me. It's, it, you know, I don't, I don't say fearful, but it's like, you know, we're going to, the day's going to come when we're all going to be judged. And it mm-hmm. just, it won't leave me alone. Right. So, you know, we don't, you know, we look at it, we don't have a free pass. You know, we're, we're, we're to be accountable, you know, yeah. even, you know, to this day. Like, I, you know, like I believe the Lord wants us to do. He's still looking today, you know, for us to serve him. And, I, man, it'd be a, I, I could not imagine being in that place where God is, is going to be my judge. And the last thing I have of him is to go back from that area and go down into that pit. I, oh, my gosh, you know, I, ugh. 
terrible, you know. But uh, I don't want to dwell on that. But but that was a very real part of this this experience. Right. Well, here's a here's a tough one. Maybe maybe not. I don't know. Um, obviously, it was in God's plan to allow you to experience this. And you know, I know it's been twenty some years. Um, the th- what what are the thoughts on like why like why why did God allow this why did God allow you or b- bring you into this experience to see and get a glimpse or a taste of 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 that realm whatever you want to call it um, I know that's kind of a tough question but well, just you know I I I can't I you know it's hard for me to say why why me and I I would say why now and I believe. The reason I'm doing this now because the timing is right, right, right now. It, it, I knew it. I knew the timing was right. Uh, I knew that, you know. And I, why I'm doing this because I believe that there is somebody out there that needs to hear this. There is something in this somewhere that is going to get your attention. Right. You know, maybe you don't know the Lord. You know, you you need to you need to know Him now. You know, you need to repent of your sins and and learn to realize that he loves you with an everlasting love you know maybe there's someone out there that's backslidden that know that of course god will take you back you know right. maybe there's somebody out there that, that that loves the lord and is serving him for many years but they're down well i believe there's things in here that will encourage you you know just right. like they have encouraged me over the years right. um, but yeah the timing is now i i i that I know for sure. So why me? Well, <laughs> I'll ask him when I get there, which will probably won't matter. All right. <laughs> well, we are getting close to yeah, run out of, running run out, out of CD time space. here. <laughs> um, just in closing, really quick, in a brief couple sentences, um, out of this experience, what message would would you give to the listeners? Just a out of everything. Boy, I tell you, God is real. He is alive. His love is for real. And I, I'm going to, let me, let me, the thing that jumped out at me the most was, I'm going to go back to that when I initially was literally thrust into his presence, you know, when Jesus showed up, was that question that was presented to me, you know, why did God make man? Right. You know, because God was lonely. And all God has been looking for is someone to love him for who he is, to believe what he says, and to act upon it. Amen. You know, we don't have to go any farther than his word to know what we mean to him, how much we mean to him. We, we mean everything to him. Amen. And we need to know that and to enjoy his love. Amen. Amen. Well, Thank you so much for oh, thank being you, here and this is time. taking this leap into um, sharing this experience with hopefully multitudes of people. I, I'm no limits. <laughs> Amen. Well, we just want to thank everybody for um, listening in today, and we pray and hope that you're blessed. And um, out of all of this, I know I feel encouraged, and we just pray that Um, Each and every person listening will just turn their eyes to God, turn their eyes to Jesus, turn their hearts and have that uh, stirring in their spirit, in their their heart to seek after God, to seek first God in their lives. And, um, you know, God says when you draw unto him, he draws unto you. Yes. And that's all it takes. And we just pray that this message, um, this experience that he um, David here has shared with all of you um, that that would begin to happen in your heart. Amen? Yes, amen. Amen. Thanks Thank for Paul. listening. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.